So now to close out this view of conservation biology, we're going to be looking at the effects of human actions, and specifically these effects on Earth. So that's what we'll entitle the next three final flowcharts. Effects of human actions, and this is all in the scope and in the realm of the planet Earth. Now, one of the major effects of all of these human actions that we've mentioned, a major idea to understand behind this, is something that we do as humans often, and it's called nutrient enrichment. Sounds great, sounds wonderful, but again, if you look at it in the context of conservation biology, from an ecological standpoint as well, we can see the, down and the downfalls and the pitfalls associated with such an action. So what is nutrient enrichment? It's a critical, critical part of uh, major uh, farming organizations and farming businesses uh, all around the world. In farming, what you have to imagine is the following. So we're going to be farmers for just a moment. We're going to imagine and understand that crops are typically grown uh, in one place. Okay, So that's uh, the big idea here, that they're grown in one place place specifically. Next thing to understand based off of that is that farmers will technically take this one place and say okay we're gonna use nutrients here because it makes sense they grow in one place so we'll use nutrients in that one place okay good nothing too crazy yet now what's gonna happen is the crops good for the farmers don't die you're giving them nutrients right crops don't die and now here's a bit of a consequence, and don't, the natural process is, of course, uh, don't give nutrients, N-U-T-R-S for nutrients, back to ground, back to the ground. Naturally, what's supposed to happen is crops die eventually, or soon at least. And now crops are not dying at their normal speed, and then they don't give nutrients that come from their death back to the ground. And so what's going to happen is if you do this over and over and over again at the same place with these crops that continuously get picked and then replanted, picked, replanted, re-nutrient, more nutrients, more, 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 all the time, you're going to eventually get to a point where the nutrients themselves from the soil, nutrients from soil, are going to be completely exhausted. They will be emptied out. There will be no more nutrients from the soil. And then what's going to happen is, and this is going to make us as a farmer really angry, is that the soil itself which was once fertile, which was once allowing things to grow, can't support plants anymore. Can't support plants anymore. And you know what you do as a farmer? You just go to another spot. You find another spot and you keep on doing this crop growing, nutrient using over and over and over again. So this is a very cyclical, repetitive process that happens over and over and again. And you can see where the name nutrient enrichment comes from. And now, the big idea here is that most of this is mainly due to fertilizer use. That's the nutrient enhancement. We always think of fertilizer as a good thing, right? We're growing plants. We're using fertilizer. So it's mainly due to fertilizer. Sounds wonderful, right? But it's not, okay? This is a human action that's going to have severe consequences because when we use fertilizer, this directly reduces the nitrogen in soil. Okay? This reduces nitrogen in soil. This is a key component to plant growth. And what we need to do as humans to fix this human action of nutrient enrichment, we need to, based off of this reduction due to fertilizer use, we need to increase, we need to increase amount of fixed nitrogen in soil. Amount of fixed nitrogen, capital N, in soil. Now you might be asking, well, why don't we just utilize the naturally occurring nitrogen cycle that we learned about, utilize those bacteria that do this for us? Well, they can't do it at the pace that we keep on abusing the nutrients and abusing these crops and abusing this fertilizer usage. And thus, we the cycle itself, that natural cycle, can't keep up. It cannot continue this increase at a rate that we need it to. 
Now, another big thing to understand about nutrient enrichment, besides the idea that it happens in farming due to this fertilizer usage, is the idea of a critical load. Critical load. Last thing about nutrient enrichments. A critical load is simply the amount of added nutrients, so we'll write this down as amount of added nutrients, N-U-T-R-S for nutrients, that can be absorbed by plants, that can be absorbed, just like we did over here, absorbed by plants without damaging ecosystem integrity. Okay, that's the key here. Without damaging that ever so important ecosystem integrity. In what scenario do we damage the ecosystem integrity? Of course, over here in this abuse of fertilizer usage, this overusage of fertilizer, we're going to abuse the integrity because we're going to reduce the naturally occurring nitrogen within the soil. We're exhausting these nutrients that are supposed to be there, and thus we are damaging ecosystem integrity. There's going to be a point at which the amount of added nutrients has maxed out. And once we reach that maxed out point, we have gotten to what we would call the critical load. And once we exceed that max out point, we would consider it to be hazardous. It is hazardous once exceeded. If we exceed this critical load as stated here, it's going to be hazardous. Basic example is the following. Imagine the example of nitrogenous minerals being added. Okay, let's say we add, so we're reducing nitrogen because of fertilizer. Let's say we add some synthetic artificial nitrogen because of a different fertilizer, right? So let's just combat our problem. Nitrogenous minerals are physically added by us as humans because we know that there's a, a decrease that just happened. What's going to happen is these nitrogenous minerals that are a bit extra, let's say, are, that are going to be added, they actually, what we term leach, let me rewrite that, leach into groundwater. And if they leach into groundwater, this is the exact water that we eventually try to surface from the ground, and it actually becomes unsafe for us to drink this. So that's not good. That's a very, very bad consequence of a human action known as nutrient enrichment. And also, sometimes this leaching into groundwater can actually turn into runoff. And a lot of people have heard this term runoff before. And it can actually run off into fresh water. If it runs off into fresh water, you get a process known as eutrophication. Eutrophication, simply speaking, is when a tons and tons and tons of aquatic plants, very small microscopic plants, you meaning true, troph meaning, let's say, food, continuously grow. Because look, this is fertilizer. Fertilizer makes plants grow. If it runs off into fresh water, lots of plants are going to grow within water. But you know what this is going to do? If lots of plants are growing within water, they're going to be utilizing all of the free available dissolved oxygen in the water. And you know who dies from this? This actually directly kills the fish. The fish have no oxygen left. All of these growing plants due to eutrophication take up and hog all of the free dissolved oxygen and the fish that live within this freshwater lake, let's say, or freshwater pond, because of the runoff that happened, are going to die because they just can't get any more oxygen. The plants that are growing at an unreasonable rate through, due to eutrophication, due to fertilizer runoff, let's say, are going to take up all that oxygen as stated before. So this is one major effect of human action that plays major roles in ecological system and their integrity.